This is a quick video to explain how to onboard with Microsoft 365 and why this needs to be done before setting up the API for Sage 200. The points we're going to cover are who this video is intended for, what Microsoft 365 license and subscriptions will need to be in place before onboarding with Sage, how to check your 365 license type and subscriptions, how to register your Microsoft 365 subscriptions with us, we'll finally cover off what the next steps will be. This video is designed for Sage Business Partners and is pitched accordingly. This information will help you guide the customer to onboard their Microsoft 365 subscription with Sage. Here is a list of the compatible license types. Before we begin, it's important to realize not all Microsoft 365 license types are compatible with the Sage 200 API. How to check which Microsoft 365 license type you've got. If you are not a Microsoft 365 admin user for your business, you can check which license has been assigned to you by logging into your Microsoft 365 account. Visit www.office.com. Click on your profile picture to the top right and click View Account. In the My Account screen, click Subscriptions from the left hand menu. Your license type will be listed above the products and services you've been given access to by your admin. Discuss any amendments that might need to be made with your administrator. If you are a Microsoft 365 admin user, visit www.office.com, select the admin app, click on billing, and then your products. On the products tab, you will find a list of your licenses and subscriptions. Follow the documentation provided by Microsoft for details of how to add licenses and subscriptions if required. If you are the Sage 200 professional end user, you'll need to contact your Sage business partner for assistance with this stage. If you're a business partner, you'll need to email bpsales at sage.com and request a form to allow you to register your customer's existing 365 account with Sage or download the form from the Partner Hub. You'll receive a form by email Fill it in with the customer's details, their account number, and Microsoft 365 subscription contact email address. You will also need to include your details and account number. Once returned to the address detailed on the form, Sage will issue the Get Started email to the subscription contact. To ensure the email sent to the subscription user is not trapped by a spam filter, Please add Sage Solutions Administrator No Reply at ce.sage.com to the customer's safe senders list. If the email has not been received within 48 hours, contact the customer's IT support to check they haven't quarantined the email or it hasn't been trapped by the spam filter. If the email has not been quarantined, contact Sage Technical Support, who will be able to check which email address was used. Technical Support can change the email address held needs be and resend the email. If the Microsoft 365 has been purchased from Sage, you will first need to agree to the Microsoft Customer Agreement. The customer will click on the Confirm Access green button in the email. If prompted, they can reset their password. They may need to return to the customer agreement email to click confirm access again. They will need to sign in using either their Microsoft 365 administrator email, which starts with admin at and ends with dot on microsoft.com or an email address with the global admin role and compatible Microsoft 365 licenses applied to it to start the onboarding process. 
approve the partner roles for Sage UK Limited by ticking the box at the bottom of the page, by clicking approve all and click yes. The customer will need to agree to the Microsoft customer agreement by clicking on the review agreement green button. Complete any missing contact details, tick the agreement and click confirm. Confirmation on screen will say an email entitled Get Started with Microsoft 365 will be received in the next 48 hours. Once your customer has received the email, they should click on the green Get Started button, tick the consent box and click Accept to grant permission for the Sage Business Center. On the Give Permissions page, click Accept to grant permissions for the Sage 200 API configuration, Sage Contact app, and Sage Power BI app. After a short pause, the onboarding procedure completes, and the Sage Business Center page will open, indicating the process has been successful. If the customer has multiple users set up within their Microsoft 365 tenant, they can decide which users from the tenant will have access to the Sage 200 API or Power BI within the Sage Business Center. If the customer's IT require multi-factor authentication to be set up for the Microsoft 365 login details, enable this before progressing any further. Watch this next video for details on how to install and configure the Microsoft Azure Application Proxy Installer on the Sage 200 server machine to allow the API access to the customer's Sage 200 data.